everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really sweet, it's just really an upgrade from the gift basket that I shared the other day. This time it's, it's a different size, it's slightly shorter but it also has this lid. You've got your little hinged handle here and then just with a velcro dot you open it up, you can see there. How cute is that like topper? And then you open it up and inside there you've got lots of room for some treats. And it's just really sweet, it's very easy to do. The actual box, it's just scoring, there's no cutting at all. So if you see here, I've actually stuck them, you know, like the side pieces on the, the outside. So there and there, popped your hinge handle there, and then just some simple mats and layers on the front. But I just absolutely adore this flower and the leaves, and then that simple sentiment on the top. So let me show you how to make these. Okay, so I've just got all the stuff that I need there, which I'll pop to one side and we can get to that later. We'll just go straight into the box making, first of all. So for the actual base, you will need a piece of eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and you want to score at two inches on all four sides. So two, 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 and two. Okay, so you have your school lines like this and you should have four squares in each corner. Okay, and then for the lid you will need a piece of seven and a quarter by five and three quarters. Along the five and three quarter side you want to score at one inch and five and a quarter. And then along the seven and a quarter side you want to score at one and a half and five and three quarters. Okay, and now working back with the base, just grab a stylus and a metal ruler and you just want to put a score line in each of the squares right across from the, so if in, you know, for this one here, you're going to go from the top left to the, to the corner there, the bottom corner, outer corner, like so. So just straight through, so you, you've created two, like, triangles. Okay, you can see there what I've done. So just from that corner where they cross over, down to the outer corner. So again, just rotate and again. Always put the stylus down first, right on the kind of the, the crossover there, so you know that that's spot on, and then you can lay the ruler down next to that. And that way you know you're gonna get it from point to point. You do wanna make sure you get your score line so it goes right through that point, um, you know, the corner there of the paper because that way we'll get a nice finish when we go to fold it all. But can you see now, just as it hits the light, that score line, okay? Next, what you want to do is fold and burnish the score lines on both pieces, so you can do the base and the lid. Okay, and then what you want to do is create a mountain fold on all of those score lines in the corners. Okay, and just kind of move that to each side, but you want to just fold it like so. So next with your glue, you just want to pop it on one of those triangles and then just squeeze them together. And then what will happen is we'll pop glue on this side here and then we'll fold it onto this side and stick it down. So you end up reinforcing the sides of, you know, this box as well. So just, you know, you can do that one and then I can move on to this one as well just putting the glue again on one of those triangles. If you put it on both it's just going to be a bit messy, you don't need to. So again I can just hold those now at the same time and get those stuck down. Okay and then you want to choose what size you want to stick them both onto. So I'm going to have those two for example, on this side here. So, you know, it doesn't matter because it's an equal side, so anyone will do. I'm just going to pop glue on that and then bring it over. And you want to make sure everything lines up nicely. Just squeeze that down a little bit there. This is all flush there with the top. And again, whilst I'm holding that one, I can just pop a bit of glue on this one here. And again, just stick that one down. Making sure it all lines up nicely. Okay, so those two are there, so then these two need to be on the opposite side, so they're going to go in there. So you see those two, and then those two. So just stick them exactly the same way. Okay. 
Okay, so that's that one all done. Okay, and then with the lid, really simple cutting, you've got your small half inch kind of tab here. You just want to cut up both of the score lines and just remove the corners. Like so, and then flip it around and do the same on the front. So you're just cutting down both of those score lines. Okay, and what will happen is this back piece is going to be attached to the back of the box. This will become the front and these are just the side flaps to so just really give it some stability and keep its shape. Okay, so next we need to create our window or our aperture. So it's up to you if you want to do this next step. You don't have to, but I've just got some stitched squares here and I'm using these two here. I'll give you the measurements for those. So the largest one is what we're going to use to create our frame. So that's just a little bit of detail. But that's three and a half squared. And this one here is three inches squared. And that's the one you want first, is that smaller one. And you're going to sit it in the centre of your lid. And you're just going to run that through your dye machine. So I'm just going to use a little bit of washi tape. Stick your washi tape on the inside part, just that way if it does you know, stick too much and it rips the card. At least it's going to rip the piece that you don't need. So I'm just going to sit that about there, pop that there. I'm just going to run that through my machine. If you pop it, you know, lengthways, then you'll fit it through a standard die cutting machine. And that one's cut out perfectly. And next you want to keep this one. See that's cut away and I can keep that now as a nice bit of scrap. And then you're going to, with a piece of white cardstock, so I've got some here, lay the card down and lay the smaller one inside with that larger one. And you just want to create a nice even frame. You don't have to have them the same pattern as me. Yours could just be, you know, nice straight stitch. They could be, you know, even a, a more decorative than mine. It, it doesn't matter. This is just going to create a frame. And again, you don't have to do this. So I'm just sticking that across there just to hold it all in place. Now you'll see this frame will drop out from between the two. And what will happen is that piece will stick around there purely for decorative reasons, that's all. Okay, so like I said, you don't have to do it, but I do think it finishes off the box quite nicely. Okay, next I've cut a piece of acetate here and I've already put some red double-sided tape around it. And this is a piece of three and three quarters squared and I'm just going to take my backing off this over and you're just going to stick it so that it covers that section and just go over with a bone folder just to make sure you get all the air bubbles out and that's nice and secure like so and then with this piece here again I'm just going to grab my glue and I'm just going to run just a little line of glue just all the way around there and lay that one down. Now if you want to decorate it now as well you can if you'd find it easier you may be keeping it plain you know you might want people to be able to see inside it without anything kind of you know getting in the way of the view so it's entirely up to you what you do. Okay so now that is all ready. Next we want to attach it to this piece so I have this these where we've created this side detail here, those are the sides of the box. So this is going to stick to the back here and then this will come over and you'll see it will all sit in side each other. And once the handles are on, that'll bring up your sides a little bit. But we need to just cut away a little bit here as well. I forgot. So here you want to come down from this bottom edge by about half an inch and then cut up on the diagonal like that. So again here, come in about half an inch, cut up like so and now that should feel better when it goes in so I'm going to pop some glue along the back of this tab here and I'm just going to sit that over there for the minute and just kind of let it kind of grab and then once you know it's it's kind of in position then you can lift it up and apply a bit more pressure but fold down the sides you know in the front that way you know everything is in place and the back sticking to where it should so now I can just lift that up, let that drop down. I can just go in there now with my finger and just push down. But that's nice and secure there now. While that's just, you know, drying more, I've got these pieces here. And this is purely decorative again for the front here. So my white mat is one and three quarters by four. And then that's slightly, I guess like a stone colour, is one and a half by three and three quarters. So I've already stuck 
my layer on there. So I'm just going to pop some glue on the back. And again, this will just strengthen it because that is just a single piece of cardstock. But once you add this onto the front, it will really strengthen the whole piece. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. We'll stick that down in a sec. I've also then got my handle here. So this is a piece of, mine's 12 because I cut all this from a piece of 12 by 12, but you, 11 will be fine or 11 and three quarters. So if you're using your A4 and then I've just cut, so that is one inch wide. And then this here is about quarter, just over. It's just under like half in between. It's again, purely decorative, but I just thought it broke up that kind of, you know, um, solid colour in the handle. You might want to stamp yours, you might use white card and do a nice stamped pattern on it, or you might put some pattern paper, you might be doing the whole box in pattern paper. But I just, you know, I do pattern paper all the time, I thought I'm going to just focus on planes today, do something a little bit different. And then you just want to sit it, because my white is three quarters of an, is a A4 length, it doesn't quite go to the ends, but because I'm going to be attaching the brads, you won't notice, you won't see it, so it doesn't matter. But I also went ahead and curled both of those before. That way when the glue dries, it will dry in that shape so it will help strengthen the handle. And because we're attaching brads, you know, you could put something with a little bit of weight into this as well. It would hold quite well. Again, I'm doing it in steps so that everything has time to dry. So now while that's drying, I'll go back to the box, pop in the sides. And then I've got this piece here. And this is a piece, the mat, the white piece is four by three quarters and then that stone colour is three and three quarters by half an inch. Again, I've already stuck one on there. So I'm just gonna pop my glue on the back. I also went and used my corner punch here and I just rounded off the corners there and I will do that on this piece in a second as well. So that's gonna go in there. But again, you don't have to, it still looks nice without. But that now can go there. I just flip this over. Now that all matches up nicely. Have to go back into that one a bit. There we go. Then we want to do the hole punches. So I've just got my punch here and I'm just coming down really as far as I can. It's about half an inch, like so. Again on this side here. There we go. And then I'm just going to come up. About that much, <laughs> about half an inch. And there we go. And then I'm just going to search through my brads and I think I'm going to go for like a coral colour, something that's going to match nicely with that flower that I'm using. And the coral goes really nice with this stone colour, so we'll go for those. So I can just pop my brad through there and then pop that through there. If you want to have it inside you can, but I like it on the outside, I think it looks quite nice. And then just open your split pin inside, and again, and then you can pop all that in. We'll pop a Velcro dot on there in a minute, and I'm just going to bring this up a little bit more. I've got a few little wrinkles there in my cardstock, the white, but I'm not too worried, you can't really see it. But now, look how lovely that's all coming together. So now we just need to add a Velcro dot. I've just got one of my little 10 mil ones here, and I'm just going to pop that in the centre, and then close that up. If you want to use magnets you can, you may want to you know, put a hole punch through here and here and tie it with some ribbon. I've gone a little bit off there, there we go, that's better. Open it up and just squeeze those both down. And now we can decorate the top of this. So I have got one of these flowers which I've already done and I've die cut these here. And actually this one has come out of one of the simply made craft set and it's this one here it's the hexagon clutch bag and I've used these two to create the flower and then these are the leaves here and I just cut that using silver cardstock and then I've just got some strips here um, of foam because you can use hot glue on the acetate you have to be very careful obviously because it may warp it slightly but it will end up you could just peel it off once it goes cold whereas if you stick foam pads to acetate they're actually really hard to get off they leave you know a sticky mark so they're perfect for this so but again you might not want to be sticking anything onto here anyway so but I do like the thought of it right in the center there and then with these pieces what I done is I actually glued them onto the bottom of the flower so maybe you might want to do that and I didn't use this glue either I used this glue here you may find this easier to do before you stick the flower down so 
but that's again if you want to do it this way so just unblock this one just a little bit of glue on the bottoms there and I literally just go underneath and then just pinch it it grabs very very quick like so but by doing it actually stuck to the flower can you see all that kind of dimension that you get it looks really good so I'm just going to go and stick these down so that's that done and then I've got my sentiments so I've taken these because I was going to use these ones and I think they still look nice so I thought I'd still show you because you could just have a little bit of kind of you know baker's twine and then just kind of have that poking out there these ones from this set here which is for the lover stamps and it's tagtastic you can see there's all different ones there even like the Miss You, I think they look really nice. But then I stamped these ones, which I love. And this is the Woodware One Liners. And again, I'll bring in that one there because you can just see, I just really like that very clean finish. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I've done two, because I wasn't sure which ones that I wanted to use. But this one's here, a little something just for you. I think that's really nice. But then I do like the sending lots of love because this one will go off the frame there. Whereas that one's just there. So I think I'm going to go for the sending lots of love. Again, I'm just going to use one of these strips here. I can't remember where I got these strips from, but they're really handy. But I think they came from a kit. So I doubt I'll be able to just buy them like this, but it's just so easy. And then I'm just going to attach this to the acetate again. Not everybody's going to want to do this, but I do like it. There we go. Okay, and there you have it just bring that up just so you can see it's so nice and once you've got stuff in there you can see that you can definitely you know put some weight to this put a little bit of tissue paper inside you could put some treats in there and you've just made me think of something because I genuinely didn't think about this but let's just see if it will hold four tonics tea cakes so I've got a feeling it might but this was I really didn't plan for this to be the case but look at that <laughs> Lots of you are going to laugh now. Yep, they fit perfectly. Like it's it's snug, but they go in. But look at that! Isn't that a nice treat? There you go. So I didn't even realise until I've just thought then. Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed them. They will fit many things. Look really nice with some jewellery in actually as well. But uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed them. Please give me a thumbs up if you have, and consider subscribing so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>